Uh, Sefa Nairobi Initiative is a project coordinating office between UN Habitat and Nairobi City County. Uh, currently we are implementing project, uh, a project called the City of Choice. A City of Choice is a project focusing on uh, refugee migrants and uh, internally displaced persons. You know this guy came to the studio and he recorded a song. Today he reminded me he wants to release it. <laughs> we are gathered here with the uh, the Department of Youth from Nairobi City County, basically because we want to establish what we call an innovation hub. An innovation hub will basically bring uh, content creators uh, so that we can use, utilize their power and uh, their knowledge and skills in terms of uh, passing message of, on issues of climate uh, climate related uh, crisis. Things have really changed from the analog studio kind of a setup to the digital type of studio setup, which of course we are focusing on establishing this matter because of course we have to be trendy and of course converse with technological changes. Something like this. So it looks a bit technical and a bit specialized for a particular purpose, which is audio production. And as you can see, those are photo booths, you know, those background, we call them photo booths. You know, when you look at the social media spaces and how it informs young people, we are nowadays informed by likes, comments, subscription, share. That's why a person will always come to your inbox, share this one. Please like, please comment. Come to town on Sunday. And I'm really grateful to our governor. Come to town on Sunday and see the massive work of young people. Then sit back. Get inside the social media and see the products of what was shot, you know, in town. They saw our work. They came for benchmarking. They saw our work. They gave us an opportunity. We attended a function, and out of it, I met Wainaina here. And out of that, I am here. I don't know who I will meet next. Uh, so as a Department of Youth Affairs, uh, for us, this is a very key uh, project. Uh, and we're also looking forward even to uh, engaging other actors to see how we can support young people and even hopefully uh, replicate this project um, within a other constituencies or sub-counties in Nairobi. We run several programs. One is uh, we have a center for youth uh, where we undertake training and uh, capacity building uh, in issues to do with, with what I've said, the employability. Uh, issues to do with uh, entrepreneurship and uh, dig digital literacy. We also have uh, talent uh, uh, development and uh, we provide uh, facilities like uh, social halls and uh, also programs within social halls whereby young people uh, can come and uh, hone uh, their uh, talents uh, and we don't charge uh, for those services to the young people. A large percentage of the population is made up of young people. How do they participate in how the county is actually developing programs? This project that you come up with, uh, One Stop Center, uh, I think we can also market it to other areas because if if you were on a test we told it's only Masabi that might have an idea of that one stop in center. I think we can go through the governor himself and even to the governing council and let's make a presentation to them on how they can create awareness to their own youth in their own counties. And of course with the support of Habitat, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to to take advantage of that because uh, I think this is an idea that can go very well. For us, it's a platform where you come, you perform, you do your uh, own things. It is up to you. How do you want to patent uh, that, uh, that, 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 that content? And how do we market? How do we help in marketing? But it will remain your own production. For us, it's only just a platform. 
I think drafting an MOU with uh, the producer we want to have in place to see how uh, the centre can work uh, well uh, in terms of uh, helping them apply their craft in terms of uh, helping the youth to record whatever they need to record and ensuring that this producer also is getting value for their time. This is why we want IRC Rebuilder specifically to come so that we can set those criteria because also apart from uh, gender, gender mainstreaming or uh, how, we, how we arrive at this selection criteria, we can actually increase the number. You will allow me just to elevate this discussion with the rest of the team so that um, apart from training the 50, 50 clients or 50 youths, we can even train more than that now. Yeah. After elevating the discussion with the rest of the team, we are looking forward just to reach more, more youths within Nairobi. I'm requesting if it's going to be possible, two things. When we're going to be having a training, eh? I don't want to break the protocol, can we be in a position to invite uh, four of the young people from Karachonyo, Karipe, to come and attend because if it's within, if it's not, I will understand. City of Choice Project is a global cities funder uh, funded by uh, Rockefeller Foundation under the IKEA, uh, IKEA and uh, it's majorly focusing on uh, refugees and migrants. Um, with partnership from um, Mayor's Migration Council and uh, they are looking at uh, different cities. So Nairobi is one of the 21 cities that was selected for this fund, uh, basically looking at uh, climate adaptation issues.